is an MS polymer. Uh, it's an adhesive that's very thick, it's opaque. It comes in white, gray, and black. It has no VOCs, no solvents, and no smell. It does not bleed into marble or into onyx. It never cures to a brittle state. It cures to a very hard rubber consistency, almost like a rubber tire. It's very fast. The biggest advantage to using the Black Mamba is your, you or your installers never have to lie on your back. We will install the sink in one minute. The standard operating procedure is this. You clean the underside of your cutout with acetone or alcohol. You want to remove all of the dust. You clean the top rim of your bowl, whether it's stainless steel, whether it's an opposite bowl, fiberglass, or stainless steel. When you're cleaning the stainless steel bowl, you're removing the oil that they put on there when they ship it. You can't glue to dust and you can't glue to oil. You apply a bead of the black mamba adhesive around the perimeter. If you were to draw an imaginary line in the middle of that rim, you want to lean your bead to the outside so that when you compress up against the countertop, you squeeze out, not squeeze in. If you squeeze in, you have a fair amount of cleanup on the inside. You compress against the underside of the countertop for 10 seconds. Hold it tight for 10 seconds. You can then let go. We then suggest that you apply a sink setting clamp for five seconds, just to make sure that you get good compression up against your countertop. You can then take the clamp off. Your sink is now installed. You are done. Less than one minute. Everybody ready? Oh, one other tip. When you're using the black mamba adhesive and you squeeze out your beans, when you're finished, Squeeze out about three eighths of an inch. Let it cure. Tomorrow, when you pick this up, gently pull, gently pull out that plug, and you're ready to go. I've done that up to three weeks later. Gently pull out, gently pull out the plug, and then you're ready to go. All right, here we go.
still have about 10 minutes to tweet. You still have about 10 minutes where you can tweak it around, scooch it left, scooch it right. Um, after 10 minutes, you're done, you're bonded. We recommend you wait 24 hours before you let your plumber go to town. In a perfect world, for me, I would suggest you get your plumber to put his faucets in before the bowl. Get your plumber to put his drain assembly on before the bowl. And the plumber doesn't have to lie on his back. It's very hard to get the plumber and the granite guy to work together. We all know that. <laughs>